Hey all, how's it going? It's Rich with Burn Social, and if, I don't know if you can tell from the title of this video, but I'm not very happy right now. My CR6 broke the other day, and I've had it for less than a month now, so I'm pretty upset about that. I'm gonna explain why, what happened, and why I actually can't fix it. So I was actually just in the middle of recording one of my maintenance videos I was doing. I was doing a time lapse for that. Came down in the morning, I watched the first two, or I started to print, watched the first two layers of it go down, no problem at all. Um, go up, go to bed, come down in the morning, and I come down to this, and this is not what you want to see. So basically overnight, the first two layers have gone down fine. Over time, they started to peel up, and then the ball, that ball started to form on the printer. Right, so I finished up, and there's maybe, you know, 40 plus grams of plastic on there, not very cool. Um, basically all you have to do to fix that is you heat up the nozzle and you just very carefully take it off. I was like prying it little bits at a time, so I didn't damage the wires, but the damage was already done. Um, the wires are dislodged from the hot end. Now the printer itself, the control board, doesn't actually know how hot the nozzle is, which is a huge fire hazard, and there's no way to actually fix that um, without getting a whole new hot end set up. I can't do that right now because Creality hasn't released the extra parts for this, and I don't want to mess with any soldering or even just securing it in there because if something were to pop out, it's a major fire hazard. But if the bed was properly leveled, I'm using the same settings I did on my other printers, uh, there shouldn't have been any light issues with bed adhesion. And then past that, because I had a couple issues with bed adhesion previously, I was actually using a glue stick on the glass bed. Um, so I'm very surprised it peeled up. And for, for a printer that I paid literally double what I typically pay for a Creality printer, like an N3 or something, um, we shouldn't have these issues. It really functions probably just as well as a typical Ender 3 with a easy ABL or something like that attached. The improvements they made um, don't equate to the dollar value of the device. I probably got three options. So I could try to fix it myself. That's extremely dangerous. Uh, we do not want to start a fire. Um, if one of those wires, we don't want to start a fire if one of those wires comes loose. Uh, I could return the printer. I've contacted Creality Sports to see if they can do anything. Nobody's got back to me, which is pretty annoying. Or third, I can now have, I can sit here with this now useless pile of, you know, hardware um, for a couple months until they actually publish replacement parts and then pay another 30 plus dollars to fix a printer that I just got. So I'm not very happy with the options and I'm just gonna see if I can return it. Come on, Creality, you really let me down on this one. Drop us a like if you're feeling my pain with this. Um, definitely leave a comment, say if you've had a similar issue or you know what you want us to cover next. We're still running the printer videos, or running the maintenance videos, but now it's gonna be with the other printers, obviously. And check out our site. You subscribe, you get a nice 15% off 